All right, all right, all right. So on your screen, you see Lonzo Ball, 40 overall, 41-year-old retired. Minus the 41 years old, this might actually happen. The reports all over the internet are saying that the Bulls do not expect Lonzo Ball to come back next season after he missed the entire previous season. And also, he might retire. He might just have to retire. The injuries are cooking him. So officially, I am retiring this version of Lonzo Ball because I have a new one coming to the 2024 NBA draft. Look, there he is. Lonzo Ball, 18 years old. I actually opened up my computer today went to my youtube comments and this is the first one i saw with them saying lonzo won't play again you should do a career simulation if he never got injured at all i'm not gonna lie injuries actually are gonna be on in this because i usually have been leaving them on but his ceiling is magic johnson hopefully he doesn't degenerate his degenerate his knee i don't know if that's even he didn't do that it just happened um lacks craftiness tends to get his shot blocked fairly easy honestly that's not too inaccurate outside shooting is pretty shaky honestly not too inaccurate for a long a young lonzo ball but honestly his potential is pretty juiced up for a young lonzo this is the Alonzo that we saw at Chino Hills, the one that LeVar Ball was calling the greatest player of all time. Hopefully LeVar's doing all right. I mean, I know LaMelo's doing well, but, uh, you know, it's got to be pretty heartbreaking to see Lonzo going out like this right now. And yes, like I said, this is the 2024 draft. I love 2023 the same since it just happened. So yes, like Victor is here and yeah, the lottery. Honestly, I can't, I can far from guarantee you he's going to go top. Oh my God. The Spurs have the top two picks in the draft. Maybe they get the first pick, the second pick or the second pick goes to the Thunder, third to the Spurs, fourth to the Timberwolves, five to the Bulls. Although if you look right here zoom in real close in that first highlighted column that charlotte first round pick supposed to be lotto protected 2k didn't do their job so i'll do it for them here you go charlotte if there's any other picks that were are also incorrect well my god that wizards one isn't correct either i know that from the video i made like two days ago all right um that's it that's it just top three picks i had to clear those up the nba draft the first overall pick the hornets take lonzo ball oh my i not even think about this i didn't even he was the sixth ranked prospect and they take him number one overall for obvious reasons well i mean yeah uh, uh well, how do I put it? We all know good and well. He, he's about to be playing with his brother. Unless they let his brother walk, which would be pretty funny. Lonzo Ball, 76 overall point guard, backing up his 91 overall. Not twin brother. He, I mean, they play pretty similarly, though. Okay, good. He's coming back to Charlotte. He is now a 93 Lamelo, that is. And Lonzo's sitting on the bench. Now, this is something LeVar can get behind. The starting lineup, as expected, does not include Mr. Lamelo Ball. I can't even say Mr. Ball. Although both he and Lamelo can play the shooting guard position. He isn't good enough just yet. It'll be the... Uh, eighth man in the rotation with the number one overall pick which is kind of crazy also jock landale i just wanted to go back to jock landale I, I seen jock landale going crazy on twitter a few weeks ago speaking of twitter i was just scrolling there i saw that today as i record this is like the 14th anniversary of michael jackson's death and i know this sounds like a crazy transition but it was just on my mind right when i happened i was in the first grade it was the last day of school yes school ends very late in new york and they shut down classes for the entire day to be fair it was the last day and they played his music over the loudspeakers the whole whole day and we just walked around the hallways aimlessly i swear to god it is the most one of the most insane things core memories that i remember from my life also there is a, a picture going around of a fake Cade cunningham and i cannot stop getting tagged in this the entire day first it was the uh anthony black two days ago it's just I, at first it was anybody with hair but i'm not gonna lie that that k1 um yeah yeah the k the k1 might be that might be. and i was actually listening to michael jackson when i saw that that's why that was on my mind i don't know how i just jumped back to that um they uh, we had no all-stars or at least Lonzo wasn't one, by the way, in case you're wondering. At the All-Star break, though, in his rookie season, he is currently averaging, I see him all the way down here, seven and six a game. He did start for 20 games. At oh, uh, LaMelo was injured. Okay, he started for 20 games. How did he play as a starter? I want to see that because you could actually filter that. He averaged eight and seven okay not not um not much difference see he's also shooting 36 percent from the field as a starter which is even worse but he's 19 years old don't worry he's got a lot of time on his hands to become the next magic johnson like what magic johnson drafted him for i remember that whole saga and by the way regardless of what his career turns out to be whether it's over right now Lamelo ball is one of the most important i mean i don't know about important but just recognizable players of this era it has been insane to see his his dominance in the uh, social media even though he, he what's crazy is he never even says anything the most notable thing i remember from lonzo ball on social media was obviously the the rap so the diss tracks that he released against everybody and when he said that the 21 savage album was better than the jay-z album as evan mobley won most viable player in his fourth season i have never seen evan mobley win mvp in 2k and he didn't even win dpoy you would think he would have swept the awards brandon miller most improved player in his second season lebron james all nba third team and lonzo ball made the all rookie second team averaging eight and six the hornets did not make the playoffs not even the play in and the hawks and rockets a very default two 
2K Finals, Jalen Green wins Finals MVP. Team won 29 games. Hopefully, they do not draft another point guard. They will have their draft pick. Jeez, the Pelicans are cooking the Bucks. I'm pretty sure those actually aren't protected because, I mean, the Bucks are the Bucks. I think they were more so pick swaps that they had traded in those uh, that Drew Holiday deal. And oh, yeah, and we have the fourth pick, and the Pelicans are going to trade this for De'Aaron Fox and Kevin Herter. Trey Johnson will go to the Kings. Pasala goes to the Jazz. And that's your Cunningham to the Thunder. And we get Isaiah Elohim, a shooting guard. So that kind of messes up the, the backcourt plans of LaMelo and Lonzo. Um, at least, you know, if he overtakes LaMelo in the rotation. If anything, I would just make one of them a shooting guard. I really do not care. Harry Rozier's team option of $27 million is getting declined. I just saw Cade Cunningham. By the way, all those photos of Cade Cunningham are stunningly fake. It is crazy. I've seen people believing them. Wow. Um, the Hornets have signed Jonathan Kuminga from the Warriors. I did check uh, the restricted free agent stuff is all working and correct as Lonzo goes up by six overalls by the way I'm pretty sure like he's gonna be a minimum of very good I won't say his exact overall I'll leave it a surprise he also has five rebounds I didn't notice that and a steal thing is these bastard sorry I was about to call them the bastard brothers that'd be insane I'm not even gonna do it that was too disrespectful I'll be throwing bastard too crazily um they, they could both just play like any position one through four I can rationally see putting them at anywhere in 2k and as of right now they got Nick Smith starting at the two Lonzo is still coming off the bench as point guard would he by any chance either one of them go up at shooting guard i doubt it they're both very pure point guards to be fair even though they could play elsewhere mm, team is doing much much better this year indeed 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 lamello ball is a all-star so is brandon miller we can have an elite trio in this on this team and uh well oh great lonzo is currently uh got a bruised left shoulder but on the season he's averaging an astounding 10 points five rebounds and eight assists wow 39 percent from the field by the way i never went over this but as of right now his stats well i mean everything is down a little bit but like an 82 three-point shot hey uh 50 six free throw um what what is this free throw percentage 58 yes indeed um great at point guard skills basically great at defense he's lonzo ball it sounds about right he also has some a, a dimer on gold floor general vice grip of course bailout don't know what shots he's passing out of he doesn't take any and space creator he doesn't even take shots off the dribble so i don't know what this is about second team all rookie and uh yeah a career high of 33 points from this season you know he's uh basically and you know what's funny i actually thought i would paint them both in the same light around this time he's basically going the frank neil Aquino route but um but an upwards project if frank man you know what let's not talk about frank the career starting to get murky I, I can't do that right now um i hope he gets a max contract and plays 48 minutes a game darius garland was mvp trey johnson rookie of the year mata six man of the year with the suns now Lamelo was drafted over mata's buzelli's and held everybody in that draft so yeah he was drafted over Bronny ian jackson so it'll be a very interesting to see how his career pans out in comparison did i say Lamelo? i meant lonzo right i said Lamelo. okay yeah i don't know we are the second seed in the conference lonzo is indeed healthy playing all the minutes he, he averaged what i said he averaged like 10 seconds ago and real quick just because he's on a little bit shaky path right now also nick smith jr is currently injured so he should be getting some more minutes at the guard spots is he at least a positive you know acquisition player for the team okay good yeah, he's adding four wins a game to the team we like to see it playing against the bulls who have they replaced lonzo with drew holiday sounds about the right fit although they've lost demar Derozan and vucevic and they have porzingis who was injured because he's looking right at me he's on the left side wearing 35 matter of fact real quick just because of the fact i just thought of something just because this is supposed to be lonzo with no injuries um there's that whole tab with just durability right yeah go to this boom durability up all the way up 99 durability the most durable player ever wow and we are up tied 2-2 two, two, sorry up 3-2 and tied 3-3 three, three. it is the fourth quarter barely any time left and the game is actually very close i don't know if lonzo will even play though and thankfully we actually do not have to jump in or mate oh god okay yeah one by three points just barely lonzo had nine six and nine with two steals on three for 14 shooting doesn't matter we won pistons second round Cade cunningham did he stay there he did Kawhi Leonard's also there and Sabonis and yeah we we're down 2-0 down 3-0 got swept good job Lonzo Ball near triple double in the last game he averaged 11 points six rebounds and eight assists wow he did better in every single stat in the playoffs he is elite playoff riser there is Garland and Jalen Green in the finals and Alperin Sengun finals MVP I, I don't know if I've seen that before seen him win championships for sure but yeah LeBron James has retired with the Celtics and uh, Drew Holiday also is out of here after getting smoked by Lonzo Ball and LaMelo Ball this year's NBA draft they got 
Jovan Ruff with the 28th pick. Garbage pick. Not him, but the pick itself, the ordering. And uh, Bryce James and Key and Anthony go back to back. Also declining Derek Lively's team option, who I didn't, I was about to say, I did not know they drafted, which they didn't. They traded him. They traded for him from Dallas. And now they're declining his team option in year four or going into year four. But hey, LaMelo's spot is secure though. Also, was that Damian Lillard on the Jazz? He did say the Jazz up the road to want to play for Jerry Sloan. I do remember that. Fantastic song. But look at that. His name is spelled correctly. Rayon Rupert, who we also somehow traded for, I guess. I saw that actually Ray Rayon Rupert, if that's how you say it, I'm not sure. That he is wearing like a number that has never been worn before. It's not 22. It's it's only been worn before once, and it was in like 2011 by a guy whose name I forgot. I, it's a pretty known name, but I forgot who it was. He's wearing number 72, which has only been worn once in NBA history. Jason Capone award in 2011 with the Sixers. Cue a photo of Jason Capone on the Sixers, if that's even possible. Lonzo is an 88 overall. Thing is, is he's still been inefficient despite improving. Uh, actually, matter of fact, I want to see his shot chart. Me and my friends were looking through not just shot charts, but like builds of players on rec. And it was hilarious. Like just looking through the lobby's build. Also, um, Lonzo as normal cannot finish at the rim, which is holding him back a lot. And he's getting 62% of shots finished on him at the rim. I don't even know if that's terrible, but his, his actual percentage is just terrible. Nick Smith is an 86 overall. Lonzo is still coming off the bench because of Nick Smith and honestly every position is taken right now which is good good for the team rj barrett three-time all-star 35 and 19 tied with the cavaliers for the best team and as of right now lamello is hurt so lonzo is the starter he's averaging 12 5 and 8 fantastic he's progressively getting better though i don't know what's what happened to lamello i was just a nice little two to four week with knee tendonitis nothing too crazy lonzo ball has no idea what the future holds the hornets hold a team option on his expiring contract so it's all up to them hashtag please keep me all right relax this hot zone is just neutral everywhere then cold in the paint and right outside of it although he he is getting better at shooting in the paint not insanely better but he's getting better he also has hall of fame dimer now i don't know why i'm so like into I, it's kind of an interesting career simulation victor wins mvp lonzo ball six man of the year 12 and 8 a game with five rebounds and 42 percent from the field maybe like three percent lower than league average five percent even something like that also his free throw percentage is rapidly improving look at that wow steve clifford coach of the year that honestly i think that's the hornets coach i know he had left and came back i think he's still i mean like i would assume in the game he's still there and and Brandon Miller, All NBA second team. Lamelo Ball, All NBA third team. With the the sixth man of the year. Come on now, that's what we're really focused on. Am I right? Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe he's not the coach because we were only 56 wins, and I think uh he might be the Spurs coach. 65 wins, I think he is. Steve Clifford's their coach. Who the hell is our coach? Joe Mazzula. Hold on, go back real quick. Shot doctor G Greg Saint Jean. Pacers. I'm assuming it's just Tyrese Halliburton. Who the hell cares? First round, almost blew the lead. Okay. Lonzo won five for 16 shooting, had 14 assists and 12 points. Assuming that was him. And second round against the Knicks. Up 3-0. Don't blow the 3-0 lead again. Oh my God. They've won two straight. There you go. In the conference finals against the Cavaliers. Same old starters and bench. 3-0 and 4-0. Out on our way to the finals. LaMelo Ball finals MVP. Conference finals MVP. So far in the playoffs, Lonzo is actually averaging a pretty impressive. Only right behind his brother in scoring on the team. Nick Smith, Kuminga, and Brandon Miller are all top three in scoring. But he is averaging 15 points, nine assists, five Five rebounds, two steals a game, almost a whole block on 52% from the field. Oh my, 48% from three. He is, no, he actually is a playoff riser. This is insane. And we are playing against Victor Wembanyama in the finals. Jonathan Kuminga is guarding him. They also have a trash center in San Antonio though, so we'll be all right. They also have Michael Porter Jr. He really wanted to be Jokic so bad. Oh, the Spurs, it wouldn't really downhill the past few like seconds. And uh, yeah, they win game one. Alonzo had six turnovers and four for 11 shooting, six missed threes. One point win in game two lonzo had 14 8 and 9 his brother played outstandingly out i sound, i felt like stephen a smith with all the stuttering right there second or third game my bad is another win six and nine with four turnovers from lonzo he's definitely having some finals game we lost another game though it is now tied 2-2 also michael porter jr just got injured he has a twisted right knee and is done for the season that sounds like a crazy thing to be done for the season for but all right i mean season isn't that much longer to be fair lonzo had 10 and 8 in this loss another win in the book 
looks. We take a nice win to go up 3 2. Oh man, there it is. Lonzo and LaMelo Ball are about to be NBA champions in year number three of his career. Right, I was looking at LaMelo's stats. Lonzo had six and 15 on two for eight shooting. And yes, this is just the third year of his career, 21 years old, number one overall pick off the bench, to be fair. And he is about to be an NBA champion. There you have it. LaMelo Ball finals MVP. You know, helping his brother along the way, holding his hand. You know what I'm saying? It is his, technically, it's his younger brother now. So, you know, it's not like too uh, ego defeating. Kevin Durant of the Celtics retired. Of course, he went to the Celtics. I'm sure a lot of you, you know, a lot of you probably are tapped in with uh, all the NBA stuff. You know, like all the semantics across every social media. And I'm sure a lot of you saw that Lowe and KD were fighting with each other on Twitter a few days ago. Not fighting. I'm, I'm lying. It wasn't that crazy. And it's funny because everyone, like, you know, I, I get it. You know, you look at Lowe and whatever you think, ah, right, big, big dog. You know what I'm saying? But so many tweets going viral talking about, ah, right, you can't talk ball because he's, I'm not going to lie. Lowe was like, talking perfectly fine basketball knowledge in these arguments and just gets cooked for being a big dog i mean hey i know he can't play basketball something like i i personally as someone who's like a 64 overall in comparison to normal like everybody in the world that isn't in the nba maybe like a 73 i'm, I'm pretty solid but i'm not no you know what i'm saying phenom sure if you're like a 40 overall with no badges i might look at you a little bit worse when it comes to your basketball opinions but nonetheless i mean hey he didn't say nothing groundbreaking wesley hunter 30th pick in the draft lonzo ball 16 million dollar team option accepted obviously they're gonna accept it that's just a crazy lucrative team option from his rookie contract i mean he is the number one overall pick to be fair and brandon miller has somehow scurried his way on to the miami heat is this like a like a what's it called oh, oh my yeah no i think i think the restricted free agency broke again do i need to go look i don't know if i uh saved the clip I mean, we got nick smith jr back but is this even real oh it's scoot henderson still with the blazers hold on let me see if i have a clip yep see there it is unrestricted free agent brandon miller like that is not that is not right i gotta trade him and victor back to original teams because that doesn't make sense at all i don't know why 2k does that i'm not sure if you people saw but there was an incredible photo with victor with all the spurs matter of fact i'm not gonna say too much because i'm thinking about making a video you know relating to that but uh there was a photo of victor with like tim duncan and and uh dunk wait tim duncan and david robinson sorry whenever i say duncan and robinson i think of duncan robinson now which is terrible all right so we still got Lamelo, brandon miller lonzo is a 91 elo he nick smith just the, the some of the greatest guards ever like the greatest guard corp guard corp ever assembled on one team isaiah collier most viable player basala victor steve clifford coach of the year victor's coach ronnie james all nba first team right there hello ronald jerace walker all nba second team and why am i saying oh there you go lonzo ball 16 points per game five rebounds nine assists two steals 47 percent from the field 43 percent from three actually somehow got worse at free throw shooting and he started 17 games at 82 mostly a six man i don't think he won six man of the year though he did not but had it pretty fantastic he made the all-star team what off the bench though oh that's that now that's that's elite that's elite right there all-star team off the bench i don't know how many times i've seen i don't know someone find a lot i don't know don't find it there's too many videos i'm sorry you're human but uh yeah all defensive second team all right we are all the way back to the conference finals already tied 2-2 with the wizards up 3-2 has anything gone wrong yet every Thing doing all right lonzo's averaging 14 and 10 in the playoffs thus far he's way more efficient than usual he hasn't started a game but he doesn't need to thankfully the team is healthy they have luka Doncic and dj Wa wagner not wagner sorry it's wagner and bam on a bio and oh my god it got very close at the end screw it i'm gonna jump it doesn't matter if he's playing or not i'm jumping in they just came back with like a six straight point run in like 10 seconds and he actually is in the game there goes lonzo ball in the corner the pass into um okay somebody one of these days lonzo gets it he hands it off immediately on expectedly sorry and Lamelo trying to cook also notice how it says l ball like that's gonna clear anything up all right luka Doncic, the screen by bam luka goes right he stops he pops the three it is off rebound by collins is that zach collins or is that a different collins i'm assuming it's zach jonathan kuminga in the post he will pass the ball to somebody one of these days i don't know what he's doing brandon miller's got it brandon miller you're a bucket right pass back out mid-range by Lamelo, and Lamelo bricks a mid-range wide open wow wide open mid-range he's got to have a 94 mid-range i'm about to say he has, has to have at least a decent one luca's got it down by three he steps back into a three but his foot is clearly on the line he actually just traveled there because his foot went behind the line with his pivot foot all right and oh my god the fadeaway three by who was that i don't know bam got it bam got it bam over to the other corner oh my god another three and oh my god a non-green 39 percent contested make from the opposite corner from who the hell was that oh that's uh jabari
Jabari Walker. Holy hell. What what overall is Jabari Walker to be hitting that shot? 83 point shot. Power forward, small six seven power forward. He's got the uh, what's his name build that dude from the Thunder or PJ Tucker. Either one works. And that was his first made shot of the game on in 26 minutes. Holy hell. We got the ball with four seconds to go. Can a shot be hit here? Lonzo was in. LaMelo isn't in, and Lonzo was in. Nick Smith's got it. Three seconds ago. Nick Smith goes right. He fades away for three, and that is gonna be all. My god, what a shot. That is one of the better shots I've ever seen. Oh my god, they are smoking us in the in the oh my overtime of hell. It is over. We are not going back to the finals. They the Jabari Walker three was was cracked to the core for them. 14, 8, and 10 for Lonzo. And we have a loss in the conference finals. Um, yeah, wow. Charlotte has been eliminated. Oh, great. My VC earnings will not be saved. Uh dang, loss of progress. And we ball can't be waiting for seven years. I'll just give him the win. Oh, never mind. It worked anyways. Spurs and Wizards. We smoked them last year. Will they? No, no. They're the weaker competition. Mickey Mouse game seven. 56 wins lost in the conference finals. It's all right. And yeah, this year, Lonzo was averaging 14 and 10. Remember last year, him and his brother were way closer in scoring, but not this year. Lamelo had the edge by a lot. I mean, not like as a competition, but hell, you know, if you average 20, I'll be happy. Greg Popovich is out of here. Hey, he leaves on a ring. You know, that's pretty cool. He usually retires too early in these. I mean, since they just got Victor. That's like perfect, honestly. And LaMelo should be a free agent this year. First time free agent. See, why is he unrestricted too? Oh, no, that's LaMelo. Okay, okay. LaMelo got his uh, offer from the Hornets anyways. They're both uh, they're both the free agents, both brothers. And will Lonzo stay with the team? Yes, he does. Lonzo signs a four-year, $160 million deal with the Hornets to remain on the team. He's only one overall lower than uh, Lamelo, averaging 16, 5, and 9. A very odd career, like both his play style, being on the bench the whole time because he's behind, you know, another generational point guard. And he is now the highest overall player on the team at 94. It was inevitable. I know we've been having fun in games, but I'm going to make Lamelo ball the two, even though he goes down two overalls. Um, hate me if you want to. I want them to start together. They're too good. They both just signed four year deals. So we got to see what they're capable of. And holy hell, it's not looking too great right now. Lonzo Ball actually is not an all star. I don't think Lamelo is either. Either. but the team is 36 and 17 which is second best in the conference the ball brothers are averaging just about 18 and 11 and 10 each Lonzo's averaging more rebounds and more assists and more steals and Lamelo averages no blocks Lonzo almost averages one and he's also averaging more turnovers on worse shooting worse shooting from three so Lamelo's a scorer but still passes a lot and Lonzo's a little bit more faster so yeah and defense probably oh well yeah pretty evidently they're the ball brothers they have the same blood they're gonna play similar all right knows me comments ah you should spawn in leangelo well um with all due respect he should have just been better at basketball i didn't even make this happen this just happened victor wins mvp lonzo ball makes all defensive first team this year charlotte first seed smoked the field oh my god just smoked everybody on the way to the finals lonzo ball final conference finals mvp he's getting his respect we were playing the thunder shay ian jackson chet holmgren cooper flag nasir cunningham my god they have the whole league on their team in the playoffs lonzo was averaging 18 points, eight rebounds, 11 assists. He obviously turned it up for that conference finals appearance. And we win the first game, win the second game, lose the third game, win, lose the fourth game, lose the fifth game. Okay, by 30 points as well. What the hell is going on? Brandon Miller is injured according to the scout advice. Not the best sign. And we are actually, I, I think, about to lose the NBA finals. Yep, the Thunder have won. Shea finals MVP. LaMelo could not lock him up any more than 20 per game. He did shoot five for 15 with 16 assists in the final game of the series. Do I keep saying LaMelo? Sorry, Lonzo, 8-8-12 eight, eight, and 12 on 3 for 14 shooting in game 6. Uh, not the best look, but you know, 5 steals. That, that's what you're going to get from Lonzo. So this TikTok and it was talking about like steals leaders for centers and for some reason the first person I thought of was Andre Drummond. I just remember him getting a lot of steals in his prime. Yeah, he retired. This dumb high school rule talking about 21 years old. Get the hell out of here. Lonzo was a 95 overall. What's crazy is I don't know how he's a 95 and still an inefficient score. Or like you, and what I mean by inefficient is sure he looks in he looks efficient compared to someone in real life, but in the game, you know, 44% isn't isn't the best for a 95 overall. I mean, he has a 79 close shot, 78 dunk, 99 three pointer. I'm just looking through, dog. 99 perimeter defense as well. Like, I actually haven't checked this stuff in a while. He's going into year number six. He even has a 99 shot tendency. Pretty established resume so far, though. Already winning a championship. Thankfully, he doesn't have a cold zone in the paint anymore. He does have Hall of 
Fame Bailout Dimer Floor General Needle Threader as well as Hall of Fame Challenger Glove Interceptor and Pick Dodger and great badges outside of those at least in those specific categories I mean in shooting it's just catch and shoot really clutch shooter volume shooter and then finishing is god for say nothing nothing at all this is layup that terrible I mean it's it's okay it's actually lower than average Lonzo Ball is actually an all-star averaging 19 7 and 11 all career highs as of right now it's looking like uh, assist is a little bit off but we'll, we'll be all right also free throw percentage is I mean not career high but it's getting back up there and I think he's played in every game 54 is a lot of games that durability is still doing him correct Cameron Boozer most valuable Billy Donovan coach of the year Evan Mobley is currently injured with a severe left ankle sprain Lonzo Ball all NBA second team with that stat line where you know just just referencing a few minutes ago he actually ended up shooting way better from the field in three by the end of the season a good second half of the season also all defensive first team we are the second seed in the conference against cleveland and we're gonna get out the first round get the hell up out the second round get out the third round his third finals appearance he is the conference finals mvp yet again playing against the thunder again we get our rematch and the first two games go to them the third game goes to them the fourth game goes to them my god okc is unstoppable as of right now lonzo had 16 and 10 with eight turnovers he just gets a lot of turnovers he's about to i, I could actually almost guarantee you he is about to lead all-time turnovers by the time this ends. that's at least how it's looking right now he's 24 i feel like he'll already be top 100 because i i don't ever recognize a player getting this many turnovers okay maybe top 100 was a stretch i'm seeing like dirk like 20 year dirk pretty far down well he does have a thousand two hundred turnovers in in six years when to be top 100 you only need 2000 or so so uh yeah he's well on his way to being like top 10 i don't know why i'm enamored with his turnovers now i mean it's pretty interesting also was Lamelo just on the bench oh well the season's over so i can't check anyway jesus the zach levine jersey retirement now we're talking wait what all games will have four timed quarters in regulation what the hell does this mean isn't that how it oh, oh okay um i'll just reject it i'm kind of scared the magic stole the pistons pick and got number one overall that's a finesse and lamello is down to a 90 for some reason and oh well actually he was a 91 that's not crazy i thought he was like a 94 down to a 90 i forgot i made him a shooting guard lot what the hell? oh okay, okay wait was he the captain it doesn't say anybody was the captain of the all-star game for some reason actually i could just check the voting let me see uh it says he was second in eastern conference vote either way my god lonzo ball all-star starter averaging the same stats as always cameron boozer most valuable player lonzo ball won the defensive player of the year award lonzo ball ball all nba second team so at this point clearly overshining his brother which wasn't my intention i just wanted them to start together but his defense is just so elite also lamello's down to an 89 for some reason he is still averaging 18 4 and 9 on better shooting than lonzo but lonzo is also once again he is getting more efficient but let's see though two straight finals losses and this year we'll probably just lose in the second round or something right yep there it is game seven loss to miami king bakat and isaiah evans are gonna go to the finals isaiah evans finals mvp for the lakers just sounds too default for the lakers think about it actually for a second the lakers every guy they ever have just sounds unique like isaiah evans way too normal sounded they had magic johnson kareem abdul jabbar kobe bryant and lebron james like the most let's not even let's not even talk about pre-80s because you know then we're talking like jerry and elgin well i mean to be fair they i don't think well i mean jerry won a finals mvp but he wasn't even he didn't even win the championship so that's really the key to being like a lakers finals mvp is just having a very oh yeah shaquille o'neal i mean that's that's like even that is the most normal of those names because like you probably could have met another person in your life named shaquille how the hell was the name lebron form you never heard a person named kobe before kobe kareem magic i know that's not his actual name and hell i know kareem's name was lou but hey you changed it the top teams across the league are seated irrespective of conference finish based on record hey honestly approve this we are gonna get rid of conferences screw conferences they don't know what traveling is in this game this game is uh it's it's literally fake because in real life the only argument for keeping conferences is that oh i don't want to travel to the west coast this many times and play in a different time zone and blah 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 well screw you shea gilders alexander just left the thunder for the nuggets i don't know why i mean the thunder did also just re-sign ian jackson to a huge contract Lamelo once again i don't know why he's getting worse lonzo seems to have capped out at a 95 which you know isn't much of a handicap also where the hell is brandon miller when did brandon miller leave has he been gone i think he has been gone what am i talking about oh okay he's been gone for one season he left after his rookie 
rookie contract or his second contract expired and went to Sacramento. And we, I mean, we lost in the second round without him. I don't know how it took me a year to realize. I saw like a TikTok and it was, um, this is a new Jack Harlow song where he's talking about something pretty serious, but he keeps saying like, our Marcus, did you hear what happened to our Marcus? And uh, it was, the, the dude turned it into a Celtics thing because of Marcus Smart. That's why I thought of Marcus Smart with Lonzo. I mean, to be fair, what am I talking? I'm just going to stop. I'm going to say, that's the thing though. People comment, oh, we want longer videos. Well, hey, we ramble about something real random. Oh my, yeah, Lonzo actually is the all-star captain. This time I was able to see it for sure with my own two eyes. He's averaging 21, six and nine this season. Kuminga's also hurt with a high ankle sprain, but uh, we are still the best team in the league. Sorry, not conference. The conferences don't exist anymore. Oh my God. It's over there breaking through the screen. Okay, didn't prepare for it. Victor wins MVP and DPOI stole it from Lonzo. Lonzo all NBA second team. And we are the first seed on the left side now because of no conferences. Probably a logical maybe thing. Oh, wow. And even with no conferences, we lose to Miami in the second round again. Out to Bam. Poa Pete, finals MVP. He beat the Heat in the finals with the Blazers. I don't know if Scoot's still there. Bruno Fernando retired. Eliminate short-term contracts. I like this. They're giving me new rules I've never seen before in time in, in this universe. Um, Yeah, give me give me short. Get rid of that. I want to see what that looks like in free agency. So I've seen like make contracts shorter, but not this. So obviously, the oh, what the hell happened here? One year deal. How is that possible? Two year deal seems pretty short term, doesn't it? One year deal seems okay. They just lied to my face. I mean, there is a there is a lot of long term deals, but no, nope, one one million dollar one year deals. Okay, just lied right to me. Also, were any of our players free? Oh, Lonzo. Bo wow, that is crazy that I didn't. I would you know I was focused on another thing. Lonzo Ball has signed with the Mavericks, leaving the Hornets after his contract expired. Also, Lamelo, are you anywhere on here? I don't know. Lamelo also left. Oh no no no, he's right here. He is uh gonna go somewhere, but it's yeah it's not gonna i mean shoot out they're finally following each other together but the hornets era is over we are going to dallas and who the hell is on the mavericks i know luca isn't here, here anymore it's cody williams kevin porter jr james turner jr freddie dillon as of last season cody williams is a consistent 20 point scorer so he'll definitely maybe even lead the team in points still but alonzo a lot more for him to shoulder on this basketball organization no longer a multi-time finals appearance type of team it's kind of interesting though like witnessing a career where they want to ring early and then for the rest is kind of seeing the vibes and what what unique happens in it because like recently um i was looking at aaron baines and aaron baines had won a ring in 2014 and then just it's like all right well there you go i think he might have played like you know two minutes a game or something he was pretty young on that spurs team lonzo is actually no longer oh no he's still an all-star starter i'm stupid averaging a career high in points and a bit lower in assists with this worst team but also tied his career high in rebounds currently and the team is 30 and 24 which isn't terrible i think they'll be a playoff team victor wins mvp Lonzo all NBA second team, although stats stood about the same. And 10th seed against Portland, who are the reigning champions, and get smoked in the first round. Five games lost. Lonzo averaged 19 on 38% shooting. 10%, no, 13% worse from three. I mean, it was only five games, but still. Yeah, he folded in the playoffs for sure. Cooper Flag, another finals MVP. Carl Towns retired. Recently, he got a lot of flack. He just tends to get a lot of flack all the time nowadays, as he was also a front court mate with Kristoff. He got flack because he said he changed the game and how people blah, blah, blah. Like, this is the thing. Carl Towns did change the game and someone, like, like this is the thing, right? Someone would have came out in maybe a year or two or when he retired or something and tweeted out and been like, oh, Carl Towns, he really changed the game. We've been like, yeah, yeah, he kind of did. But because he said it and he's still in the midst of his career, which is currently pretty unsuccessful in terms of well, success, like actual, you know, individual, both individual and playoff success, it doesn't hit the same because he's still like 27, right? Like 28. He's not close. I don't think he's he's 30 yet not even close and the thing with cat is like fantastic player right but back when you know 10 maybe you know some somewhere around 10 years ago which sound kind of sounds crazy but boogie cousins there was a lot of you know talk about oh snap boogie cousins need to leave and team up with john wall because they both need to win a championship right before bradley b was good obviously and i would say cat isn't far off from where boogie was in terms of like stats and everything but honestly the league has just gotten so much better to where he kind of falls more in the middle of the pack where people aren't like you know going crazy like oh Oh, cat needs to go here or there to win because well he's actually had great teams and you know good very good teams at least and still lost you know like the year with jimmy it's like they had a pretty great team and at least solid and still got smoked in the first round there's a lot of variables though nba is, isn't just one shoe fits all on the ball i just checked was still the first pick in the all-star draft but the team is underperforming this year pretty 
pretty uh, extravagantly, which isn't a, isn't it sounds like a good word, but it isn't in this scenario just because I, I just reused it and made it into a different use. Jamal McKnight Jr., most valuable player. Lonzo Ball wins another DPOY. This feels like a pretty realistic ceiling sim for him so far, although I wish the ceiling was a little bit better as of this season and, and you know, record wise, because it seems like, yeah, we missed the playoffs. 38 and 44 was not good enough. The Wizards were the 11th seed and they even won 44 games, which isn't far off from us. Jace Richardson, finals MVP for the Lakers. See, that's a pretty unique name. I'll give him that. Also, just for the season stats for us, just to uh, recap, what the hell? Nasir Cunningham is here and he didn't get better than an 82 overall? How the hell? That is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen him. This is the same draft class I used, like the one that I used um, in the Wizards rebuild, where I think he got to like a 90 something, probably. 82 is crazy. OG Ananobi retired. Players are eligible for the entry draft once they reach 18 years. Now we're talking. Get rid of high, get rid of uh, college. No more college 2024, or I guess 2034 in this case. Hello, Nikola Jokic. You are so old. The Mavs signed just about nobody, and Lonzo is entering season number 11 over a decade in. Cameron Boozer, most viable again. Is he on the Nuggets? Yes, he is. The new Jokic. Lonzo Ball, another DPOY. All body point guard. Makes the All NBA first team as well. And we did not make the playoffs. Again, at least I don't see that we, I don't think we made it. Caleb Holt, finals MVP. Another Lakers ring. My God. Jared Vanderbilt retired. Oh, great. We got Patrick Williams, Lonzo's former teammate. That'll help us. He averages nine points. He's got one hell of a defensive team. Harlan McNeil, most viable player. No DPOY for Lonzo this year. And Lonzo is still on the All NBA first team, averaging, you know, fantastic. He's, he's I mean, yeah, you know, he's Lonzo. 36 wins, though. Almost double, double E as bad as the Lakers were. Lakers were 69 and 13. Celtics win the ring. Ron Holland finals MVP. John Morant ruptured Achilles, retires at 36. Implement a possession arrow rule? Screw it. You could have it. Oh, Lonzo Ball has left the Dallas Mavericks after, I would assume, a four-year stay. I wonder what LaMelo's up to these days. Is he even He's an 85 overall in the Spurs. And Lonzo has went back to the Hornets. Lonzo was here with um, Dylan Harper. Jonathan Kuminga still here. Franz Wagner. Ron Chich, James Wiseman. Man who was picked a pick before him in the 2000 and whatever. Actually, no, I'm talking about LaMelo now. My God. I see L Ball and the Hornets and think the wrong guy. Harlan McNeil, most valuable again. Lonzo, another DPOY. He actually averaged a career high in points in the Hornets, but I'm pretty sure they were garbage. So uh, there's also that. Yeah, 21 wins and a DPOY. I wonder what that, uh, you know, not much defense being played outside of him. The Portland Trailblazers win the ring. Josh Giddy finals MVP. Anthony Black retired. Lonzo is actually regressing at 31 years old. It's crazy, actually. It feels like he's older than he is because he's played 13 years. Lonzo is still the first pick in the All-Star draft after all this time and still playing great. But his team uh, team is actually mediocre. They might actually maybe they'll maybe they'll sneak in the playoffs. Lonzo Ball, another DPOY, and they missed the playoffs. 36 and 46. Cameron Barnes, Lakers, another ring. James Wiseman retired. And Franz, more notably. Oh my God, how did Dwight Howard get here? 52? 51? 50. Franz was a uh, 79 overall for the Hornets. So yeah, kind of notable. Team sucks. Carla McNeil, most valuable. Lonzo Ball, DPOY again. Hey, look, 70% from free throw. Vast improvement. That'll really help us make the playoffs. Oh my God, it actually did. We're the fifth seed. 52 wins for the Hornets. Did not expect this in a million years from this team. Uh, it, will it be championship run? I'm not sure. A lot of solid scorers in this team now, thankfully. Let's see. First round against Dallas, and it is a 3-4-2. Okay. Second round got smoked by the God Tier Thunder, and they win the championship. At least we won we lost to the champs. Patrick Williams retired, and some other guy from the Mavericks. Oh, and LaMelo Ball retired. Probably should mention that. Diamond Sharpshooter, 79 overall is out of here. And he made the Hall of Fame with that one championship and finals MVP. Lonzo Ball in a one-year $74 million contract at 33 going to his 16th season. Harlan McNeil, another MVP. Lonzo's lost his DPOI crown. He is still a second teamer though. And no Hornets playoffs this year. 42 and 40 was not good enough. Still average 21, 8 and 8 with a two steals. Raptors win the ring. Harlan McNeil has taken over the league. Nasir Cunningham ruptured his Achilles and retired at 35. Dang, I skipped through the uh, league meetings and they made the all-star teams only 10 players. That's tough. Don't really care. Oh, Lonzo Ball has left the Hornets. They are absolutely garbage, especially without him. And he, he's back to the Mavericks. This is some sort of sick joke. He's here with absolutely nobody yet again. Wait, 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 wait. I saw Paolo. Paolo old self is on uh, the bench. Harlem McNeil, most valuable yet again in Basala DPOY. Lonzo Ball no longer on the All-NBA teams, although still on the defensive team. And that is because he averaged, shoot, I don't know, 21, 7, and 7 seems pretty good. But the Mavericks did not make the playoffs. They are trash. Harlem McNeil again. I don't even know the people that are retiring anymore. That's how far in we are. Who the hell is Zion Pippen? Hey, 
morning, Jerace Walker made the Hall of Fame. Sorry, it's 7.30 a.m. My, yeah, my, my sleep schedule is trash again. Lonzo progresses to a 90, but only has 180 overall teammates, so expect another playoff miss. Caleb Holt, most valuable. Oh, Dallas actually made the eighth seed. I expect nothing, though. Lost in the first round, game seven. Lonzo Ball at 19 and nine. Portland wins the ring. Peyton Whitman. Oh, that's nice. Cameron Barnes and Edwin Barry Carroll both signed in Dallas. Cameron Barnes was in San Antonio and Edwin was in Houston. They both just moved over to the, uh, I guess, a superior city as of right now. Shoot, Lonzo's here. But he is 36. Dwayne Quinn, most viable player. We are way too deep in. Lonzo Ball still on the All-NBA first team after all these years. 23, 6, and 9. His highest assist number in four or five years. And we are the fifth seed yet again against the 12th seed Clippers. And that is a second round loss to Miami yet again. He, I don't think he's made it past second round. And every time it's against Miami in the past like 20 years. Fifth seed to nothing. Bronny James retires with a torn left Achilles. Isaiah Elohim and Isaiah Evans, teammates on the Lakers, both retire. Bryce James is also out of here. Eliminate the possession arrow rule. All right, fine. Lines a little old bastard. 87 overall going to season number 20. His stats, at least in assists, are about to be insane by the end of this. Jesus, look at the amount of all stars. There's barely any. And Lonzo is still making it after 17 years. 18 and 8 this season. 33 and 20 is pretty good. Lonnie Pusley MVP. Lonzo still all NBA second team. And he's still not thinking about retiring even at, even at 38. Fifth seed against Minnesota again. First round smoked him. Second round smoked him. Third round. Oh my. You know what's crazy? I've gotten used to how it usually pauses after the conference finals. I don't know if I would have jumped in any of these games anyways. Oh my God. They lost to Victor. Old man Victor. 39 year old Victor. Is he about to retire on this? Yes, he is. Pretty solid run though. Lonzo's first championship slash finals run, I mean, on by himself without LaMelo. 19, 7, and 11 for him. Probably wouldn't have been finals MVP considering that he's an all NBA guard every year. Brandon Miller's out of here as well. You know, I'm wait, he was on the Mavericks. That's crazy. He's old though, but I mean, hey, he was playing. Lonzo's down to an 84. He's not even the best player anymore. It's crazy how bad the league gets after you run out of draft classes. The auto generated ones are so trash. Delani Pusley MVP again. Lonzo still all NBA third team. 19, 5, and 8. And he's saying that he's going to retire after this season. They are the second seed. Maybe a last year finals run. Maybe not. We'll see. So far, successful conference finals and just lost to the Wizards in game seven. One point loss in game seven was that close to another finals berth. 21, 7, 3 rebounds, 2 steals, 7 for 19 shooting, 10, missed 10 for threes in his final game. And Cameron Boozer, was it Cameron Boozer versus, uh, it wasn't, oh no, Victor retired. What am I talking about? Lonzo Ball has retired after 21 years pro officially. I think we already know he's got to make the Hall of, I mean, yeah, yeah, he made like 25 all-star appearances. He's got to make the Hall of Fame. There he is. He averages 19 points per game, seven, seven rebounds, nine assists, two steals, one block, just about 16 all-star appearances, zero MVP, six DPOIs, one six-man championship. What the hell am I talking about? One championship. Also, one more time, emphasis on six DPOIs, six All-NBA first teams, eight second teams, one third team, 15 defensive first teams, three defensive second teams. He barely missed in his whole career and one rookie second team. Now at the Hall of Famer at a career high of 51 points, 19 field goals made, 13 threes, 11 free throws, 19 rebounds, six offensive rebounds, 15 defensive rebounds. My God, 22 assists, eight steals and six blocks. And well, there's his accolades again that I already went over. Still had volume shooter Hall of Fame, needle threader Hall of Fame, but lost everything else that is old, ripe age. And in the history of the NBA, first of all, he ever said any like assist records? That's probably the only one he possibly could have said. No, not in the playoff, not in the regular season either. How about in, in career? He has the second most assists ever. He did not break John Stockton's record. He has the second most over a thousand behind him, but also over 2000 almost ahead of every single other person. And if I had to guess, yeah, he's now number one all time in steals. He beat John Stockton as well as VJ Miller with 3,477. Six most minutes ever. I told you second in turnovers. He was racking them up. Second only to LeBron more than Westbrook. That is wild that Michael and Wilder are exactly tied in points per game. He played the most games in NBA history. This is with injuries on, by the way. He just probably hasn't been injured in 15 years. I mean, I, I did see Victor at number three on that list, which is pretty wild. Oh, this as well, uh, Alonzo Ball, ninth all time in triple doubles, 95 of them. Just barely behind Jason Kidd, who he was commonly compared to. And actually, why did I not say this yet? 16th all time in points, 31,787, more than Dirk. 17th in field goals, number one all time in threes, beating Steph Curry. Nobody up to this point had beat Steph, and Lonzo had almost a thousand more threes than him. That's probably a good thing to leave it off on. As a, also, any Jersey retirements? Yeah, the Hornets and Mavericks for multiple 
stints with both that is it shout out to terry rosier hopefully lonzo comes back healthy but um hey i've done my part it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun see you around next time Bye.